Oh, Hallelujah. <laughs> well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's Blessings. see who's still up. Yes, who's we up? Who is still up? God bless you. Yay! Coach Latanya, I see you. <laughs> Love you, sweetheart. Love let's you, see love who's you, love come you. Come on tonight. It's late. We're late. We're late. <laughs> but let's see who's coming. Oh goodness, yes. God bless All you, right. Karen. God bless you, Prophet Tony Ward. Blessings. Welcome, welcome to you. Yeah, this word is just gonna be for a few select people. <laughs> Everybody couldn't hang. Everybody can't hang right. with us. Yes, D. Williams. D. Williams good you, you, you morning. Are it, huh? Yes. Woo. Diana Harrison, God bless you. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We, your prayers um, availed much. We are here. We made it. Yes, we made it. I don't know what's going on with the Periscope. It might not be. Periscope's been acting crazy lately. <laughs> they been cutting up. Yes, yeah, they've been cutting up bad. But it, the lighting is good, though. The lighting is really My good. My husband has us um, in the stadium. Where yes. We're t broadcasting from the stadium. But anyway, welcome to each and every one of you. Um, maybe you have to go out and come back in on Periscope. Okay, let's try that. Coastal Tanya, we're going to come right back. Let's see if it works. <laughs> Pauline Morgan, God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Michelle Zick, thank you. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for joining us. Diane Harrison, God bless you. Thank you. Debron, we love you. Thank you. Um, Shaquilla McDowell, grace and peace to you as well. Blessings to you. Greatness. Uh, Demita Sutton, yes, yes. God bless you. Dee Williams, grateful. John, we appreciate you. We certainly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for um, your patience, your diligence, um, being able to stand with us and stand on the as we all stand on the word of God together. Amen. This is a new day. It's a new day. Amen. New mercies, new grace, new favor, new opportunities that God has given to us today that we didn't receive on yesterday. Amen. And so we're excited about the goodness of God and all that he is and all that he's doing in each and every one of our lives. Thank you for your prayers, not just for us, but also for your brothers and your sisters. Um, the prayers are truly, they avail much. They avail much. And um, I got an inbox just earlier about a suddenly that someone experienced. And, and God is moving in so many different ways. And she mm -hmm. had a speeding ticket and, you know, how God just worked it out. It was just a sudden thing that um, it everything worked in her favor. And so this is the season that God is saying, I'm working in your favor. Everything that you see right now, every obstacle, it's working in your favor. God is turning it around what the enemy meant for evil and what to cause you harm and to cause you heartache and headache. God said he's turning Turn it around and he's going to use it for his glory. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're going to get a testimony out of it. But sometimes when we actually see it, it doesn't look like a testimony is coming out of it. But God say he, because of his word, that a testimony has to come out of the test. It mm -hmm. has to come out. And so even through your tragedy, there is triumph on the other side. Girl, you better preach. <laughs> You oh, God. God is faithful. I'm, I'm really excited about the body of Christ right now. I'm excited about God. I'm excited about um, your lives and, and the call of God on your lives and the things that God has in store for you. Because even I know within my own self, uh, we've, we've gone through things. We've, we've had some hard trials. We had some hard knocks. And um, But God was, is, is, was faithful and continues to be faithful. I posted something earlier that he's the same God. He's this God. Um, what God, because he did it before, he's going to do it again and again and again. Amen. He never stops. He never stops healing. He never stops delivering. He never stops saving. He never stops rescuing us. He never stops providing for us. Amen. So we're grateful. God bless you. Yes, Steve Williams. Thank you all so very much for joining with us on this morning. Um, I know we're a little bit late, but we're here and we're just grateful um, for each and every one of you. Yes. Amen. I don't know what's going on with the scope. You look pretty on it, though. <laughs> you look really pretty on it. Thank you. I look really tired. <laughs> We've been traveling today, so. Yeah, we're traveling. So we just got, we actually just walked into the hotel. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so, <laughs> yeah, so it, it was a little after midnight. <laughs> Thank you for praying for us. Thank you guys so much. But we're going to get right into prayer um, on this morning. We're going to uh, declare God's word over your life. We're going to stand on his word. We're going to see the manifestation <coughs> of his word. Amen. 
Amen. Yes, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you for praying for us. Yeah, my husband, you know, sometimes deals with some um, allergies, but he's, I tell you, he's overcoming. And that's one of the things that he's, a, as he says a lot of times, he's a soldier. So he um, knows how to overcome, knows how to fight through um, whatever, whatever situation. So we're grateful. Thank you so much for, for praying for us. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. He looks short tonight because if you could see, well, he's in his, well, yeah, he's a little short. <laughs> so what I'm sitting on, of course, is a little bit taller than him, but his chair, but we're moving forward. Yeah, yeah no, I was, I, we were in a service tonight and uh, in the service, um, uh, the apostle was talking about thousands. Right. And how increase is coming. In thousands. Yes. And there are some of you, this is why I know this scope is strategic, that everybody couldn't be here. Because the ones of you that are on here tonight, I believe that tonight is a night mm -hmm. that God is literally getting ready to release some amazing things to you. There were some who would normally have thought that we should, that we'd normally here at 12 o'clock Eastern Standard right. Time. But for whatever reason, they didn't make it on uh, and they, they, they're not here now. But what we're getting ready to pray for you and prophesy over you mm -hmm. is going to be the anointing of the thousands. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Because I, I really received that impartation. I received yes. it. I mean, when he said that, Absolutely. I'm like, my God, I felt that thing in my spirit. And so mm -hmm. I'm like, we've been praying too low. We, we've been not praying <laughs> enough. Amen. We need to suddenly yes. experience the thousand times thousand right. anointing. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. And so we want to pray. Uh, you know, we, we've been talking about this one invention, one idea. Right. One invention mm -hmm. and one idea mm -hmm. can literally catapult you yes. into your next dimension. Absolutely. Are you listening? Absolutely. Think about that. Just one idea, mm -hmm. one invention, mm -hmm. one thing. And before you know it, everything about your life has just changed. Mm -hmm. we, were even, we were even dealing with that today about how um, people ordered the book and it was just, it was suddenly, I mean, we just overwhelmed. We had to order more supplies. We had to order more, more books because it was just overwhelming. I mean, right. it was so many people that ordered. Right. right. And so it's, this stuff is coming in the thousands. Amen. It, it really is. And so that's what God wants us to understand and really take hold of because there is something on the inside of you that God wants to activate and release. And as he releases it in the earth, not only will you be blessed, but everyone connected to you will be blessed. And those that perhaps you will never even meet will be blessed by the gift on the inside of you. And that may come in the form of a book. It may come in the form of a song, or a play, a, a poem, whatever that is, and however God wants to use you. But you've got to be able to tap into that place, tap into that gift, tap into that anointing so God can and put super on it and manifest great things in your life. Even, you know, it was just out of obedience and that's what God is looking for. He's looking for our obedience to him. And when we obey him, then doors open up. And so God will not bless us past the last act of obedience. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so um, as obedience opens doors, disobedience, of course, closes doors. And so God is saying that um, he has so much for us, so much in store that we haven't even perceived yet. We can't even comprehend the different things. We weren't able to comprehend what God was about to do and what he manifested in our life just over the past few days. Mm -hmm. We weren't able to even come. We didn't see it. Mm -hmm. We, right. we, we, we really honestly didn't well, it's see not even it. Our intent. it. No, no, no. We, we didn't, we didn't see it with our eyes. We didn't hear it. We knew God was doing something. Of course we, we had an expectation, you know, God, we're going to do this. You put it on our heart, you put it in our spirit. And so we're going to be diligent in doing it. We're going to have to press through some things. We're going to have to overcome some things, some obstacles that came against us. And so we said, God, we're going to be committed to do it. We're going to be committed to the midnight cry. And so even as we were doing that, God gave Gave us that word and he began to expand on it and so we I, I, I'm telling you just every single day God began to say something we had to go to him for fresh revelation mm -hmm. God what do you want to say today to your people what is it that you would have for them and um, and so in the midst of that in the midst of obedience in the midst of perseverance mm -hmm. God, God breaks through he breaks through that's it he That's breaks it. through. We can't we can't talk about the God of the breakthrough and he not break through. We can't talk about Jehovah Jireh and he doesn't provide. 
It's impossible. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. The very thing that you address him as is what he's going to manifest as. You better preach, Because girl. his names reveal to, to us who he is, and it also reveals the victory that we have in him. Yes. <laughs> as, Jehovah, you as Jehovah Rapha. He is your healer. So as you acknowledge him, as you extol him as Jehovah Rapha, he manifests as, as Jehovah Rapha. Rapha. Mm -hmm. as, you, as, as you address him and you honor him and you reference him as Jehovah Roha, he manifests as your shepherd. Mm -hmm. Knowing that he leads you and guides you in the way that you should go, that he provides for you. He is your shepherd and you shall not want. Why don't you have to want? Because he supplied all of your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So he, he, he is, I mean, we, we just cannot even really truly comprehend God. Mm -hmm. You know, we may know some Greek, we may know some Hebrew <coughs> and all of this, that, and the other, but we don't really know God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we don't, we really can't comprehend the vastness of who he is, his splendor, his majesty, everything that, that, that he is and he is everything. Mm -hmm. So we can't always comprehend what he's doing and how he's doing. And that's why God said, I'm doing it suddenly mm -hmm. without notice. I don't have to get your opinion or your, you know, I don't have to tell you what I'm doing, but I'm doing it and it's coming suddenly. That's right. And I'm going to overwhelm you. I'm, I'm going to cause you to be utterly amazed. This is the year of fulfillment that God is fulfilling his word. When you, I, I'm telling you, when you look around, it's going to be done. That's it. It's going to be done. Amazed. Amazed. Yes. What you got to say about that? Hey, I am blown away. <laughs> I'm telling you, I am usually not at a loss for words, but that thing has me really thinking and I'm going to yes. study it and I'm going to search it out. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pray about it because I am, I'm like that too. I am totally overwhelmed at yes. what God is doing. Yes. Just amazed. 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 His everything about him is amazing. It really we we God is is such an amazing God that as we continue to experience more of Him, the more we experience of God, the more um, more amazed we become mm -hmm. at His splendor, because it's just that it our minds cannot because our minds are. Are finite. They're they're limited. Our, our thinking is limited. Our dreams are limited. Our our thoughts are limited. But we serve an infinite God, mm -hmm. and everything He is, uh, every characteristic of His, it's unlimited, mm -hmm. unlimited. And because you serve an unlimited God, God does not want us to be limited. He doesn't want us to be limited in our finances, in our relationships. In our ministry, in our business, he does not want us to be limited um, in those areas. And so tonight we're going to pray. We're going to pray that God will, because in essence, sometimes we, we still limit ourselves based on our past experiences. And what we can see. And what we can see. Mm -hmm. we, we certainly still limit ourselves. We limit God's potential you know, in our life. Sometimes we don't feel like we're worthy. Sometimes we don't, we don't see it and, and we don't, you know, really feel it at different times. But uh, God is certainly faithful. He's certainly, certainly, certainly faithful. Yes, he's certainly faithful. Amen. Amen. God bless you. I know we were having some little issues with Periscope, but um, we'll try it again. Yes. Try it again. Yeah. So I want to pray for those people that are on here. I want to I want to release something into your life, and um, I'm telling you, I, I am. I was literally blown away tonight, <laughs> and so you know, usually I'm like in a different zone, but I'm telling you, I don't know what God just did, but God really unlocked something in me, and um, I really believe that God is getting ready to cause all of us to experience something mm. we've never experienced before. God is yes. getting ready to do some amazing things in your life. I'm mm. telling you, you've been on here. You've been praying. You've been fasting. Uh, you have been believing God for supernatural things. And I'm telling you, God is getting ready to release supernatural mm -hmm. things to you. He Amen. is getting ready to cause things Amen. to happen that are going to be Absolutely. amazing. I was looking at this text. The text I was looking at was in uh, 2 Chronicles uh, chapter 1. An apostle was talking about the thousands.
And so I'm looking at this thing, and I posted something a thousand times, a th- thousands times thousands. And my wife was talking about how, um, you know, you were, you were saying earlier about the the whole um, um, a thousand, would you say a million times a thousand? A million thousands. A million thousand. And then I said a thousand, a thousand millions. millions. Amen. Mm-hmm. And so I yes. really believe that God is getting ready to do amazing things for you, and he's getting ready to release, I'm telling you, uh, when you, when you, I mean, you just, I want you to get the biggest number that you could imagine, whether it's your business, whether it's your family, whether it's your ministry, I want you to get the largest number that you can imagine. Mm. And God is getting ready to supersede that. Amen. He is getting ready to supersede all of those things. Some people said they lost us on the scope. So I didn't know that the scope was working. The scope didn't look like it didn't appear to be working, but, uh, you got to hit it. So, uh, okay. Let's there come we back are. on. Okay. Yes. Good. <laughs> All right, we're going to see if it works this time. Yes, awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm looking at this text, man, and I'm just, I'm still blown away. I'm blown away because I've been talking about this thing for years, and I've been dealing with that thing personally mm-hmm. as far as wisdom is concerned. Right. And how Solomon didn't ask God for money. Right. He asked him for wisdom. Wisdom. And so my prayer tonight is for you to suddenly receive the wisdom that you need Mm -hmm. to be able to do all the other things. Because when you get wisdom, wisdom is going to give you vision. Absolutely. Vision is going to give you finances. Mm -hmm. So God will give you one witty invention. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'm telling you, I don't know who this is for tonight, but I'm telling you, God's going to give you one (laughs) idea. Yes. That's going to be creative mm-hmm. that nobody's ever done before. He want, I want to, God, I want to pray for the same supernatural wisdom mm-hmm. you've given me over the years. Yes. God, you, I, I, have, I know that that's one of my gifts. Amen. Mm-hmm. The word of wisdom. Absolutely. Amen. Word of knowledge. Mm-hmm. And God has given me that. And I'm telling you, I want to release it to you because I believe yes. that there are many of you who are on this thing and you've been trying to figure out, God, what am I going to do? How am I going to do it? What's my mm-hmm. next step? What's my next option? Right. But the Lord said, I'm getting ready to release to you. I'm telling you, if there, however many people are on here, however many people are I want e- every one of you to receive an impartation Jesus. for wisdom, for supernatural yes. wisdom from God. Yes. So that yes. once you get the supernatural wisdom, when you wake up the morning, you'll have an idea. I'm my telling God. you, I in 2000, Jesus. was it 1998? I had one idea. I said, I'm going to do a Christian website design company. And I'm telling you, I did not have the money, but God sent a prophet to send somebody to me and gave me the money that I needed and more. Mm. Amen. Are you listening to me? So I'm telling you, I know that God can do it. God can do it. He can do it. He can do it. And not only can he do it, he he's will. getting ready to do it for you and he's going to do it suddenly. So, yes. so my re- our release tonight Hallelujah. is for an anointing of wisdom. Jesus. Father, let an anointing of supernatural wisdom come upon them. Father, let it be released even through this Periscope, even Mm -hmm. through this Facebook Live. God, release your anointing, O God, for wisdom in the name of Jesus. Father, give them wisdom, God, that would help to supersede, God, even their mind, their uh, their will, their thoughts, God. Cause the wisdom, Mm -hmm. O God, that you have, even that you gave Solomon at a young age, God, Mm -hmm. he understood how to organize and structure things, Father. Father, give them the anointing for wisdom, Wisdom. God, that would cause them, O Heavenly Father, to understand the Mm -hmm. mysteries Oh, God, both in heaven and in earth, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Give them an understanding, God, on how to tap into places, God, that others, God, have only imagined and only thought of, oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, whatever it is that they desire to create, God, give them the wisdom to create it, God. Whatever idea it is that you give them, give them the wisdom for it, God. If there's riches and finances that they need, Father, give them the idea. Unlock something in them tonight, God. Cause something to be activated in them like never before. God, cause the activation and the anointing of a wisdom to come upon them like like never before now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, oh God, that you're opening up their mind and their spirit and their heart, God, to wisdom, oh Heavenly Father. And this wisdom, God, will cause them, God, to go into places, God, and have solutions and answers, oh God, for things that people are going through and people that need. And God, let people even bless them because of the yes. wisdom that you have given My them, God. God. Wisdom to create, God. Wisdom, God, to build, God. Wisdom, God, oh Heavenly Father, to expand, God. Wisdom, Jesus. God, to do amazing things, God, that they've never seen before. Wisdom for the unprecedented God. Something that's never been seen, heard or experienced before. Father, let them have the anointing, oh God, of a wisdom in the name of Jesus. Father, everything, God, that's been held up, God, let it be released as they operate in the wisdom that you have given them, God. Even as you gave it unto Solomon, oh Heavenly Father. Oh God, 
to let him begin to build and it began to cause him to have an understanding, oh God, and what even what seed to sow, God. Oh God, we thank you now, God, that you're giving them wisdom, oh God, and where to invest their money. Wisdom, oh Heavenly Father, on how to really create some amazing things, God, again, that the earth has never seen or to do it in a way that it's never been done before. Father, give them the wisdom that only you can give them, God, that would cause them, God, to prosper in everything that they put their hands to. God, cause them to prosper everywhere their foot tread. God, cause them to prosper, God, even in areas, God, where they were lacking, God, and they were uh, going without and they were not having enough or not having everything that they need. Father, give them an anointing for wisdom, oh God, even in relationships, God, those who are on here, God, and you, uh, they're, they're having issues in their relationship, yes. God. They're yes. having issues in their marriage, they're having issues with family members, God. Give them a wisdom, oh Heavenly Father, that would give them an understanding of how to tap into a place, oh Heavenly Father, oh God, that would unlock every answer that they need, God. Give them supernatural wisdom, God. Move in the prophetic for them, God. Unlock that gift inside of them, God, that every answer, every solution is needed, God. You'll give it to them, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Father, let wisdom, God, be their portion now, suddenly, in Jesus' name. And I read the scripture that even said that Solomon, that God told Solomon, he said, because it was in your heart and you did not ask riches, wealth, or honor, nor the life of thy enemies, neither yet ask long life, but has asked wisdom and knowledge for thyself, that thou mayest judge my people over whom I have made thee king. Wisdom and knowledge is granted unto thee, and I will give thee riches and wealth and honor, such as none of the kings have had that have been before thee, neither shall there any after thee have the light. And so God is saying to you tonight <laughs> that I'm getting ready to give you a supernatural wisdom and yes. knowledge that other people even before you have not had. For this season and this time of suddenly shall it shall come Jesus. upon you. Yes, suddenly wisdom. Suddenly wisdom. Yes. You're getting ready to receive it. And yes. with wisdom is going to come knowledge and it's going to come understanding uh, and it's yes. going to come wealth. Amen. And so you got to receive that. I'm telling you, I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody thinks. Yes. You've got to receive the anointing of wisdom because with wisdom, it's going to unlock everything else that you need in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, Father God, we just thank you right now, God, for your sons and your daughters. We thank you, God, that you love them enough not to leave them where they were. God, we thank you that you're taking them into new dimensions, new realms, new platforms, new opportunities. In the name of Jesus, you're mm. bringing them into a company of people, Father God, that, that need what they have on the inside of them, mm. that you're giving them strategies in the name of Jesus. So I just release strategies to you right now that God will give you the solution. God will even give you ideas. He will begin to give you creations in the name of Jesus. I release the spirit of creativity upon you that you will be able to look at something and God will give you uh, areas of creativity and how to make it better. Um, as we know, Steve Jobs did not make the computer, but he made it better. So God is giving you a strategy to make things better in the name of Jesus. So God, I just thank you right now that you're releasing um, a, a grace upon them, God, even <clears throat> for, for to be an entrepreneur, to increase, to go into higher levels. God wants to take your business into a higher place. He wants to take your ministry into a higher place. And God is going to give you a strategic plan as to how to implement those things. And so as you look at what you have, God is going to give you wisdom for you to understand how to take what you have and make it better in the name of Jesus. God is saying, go, go forth, go forth now. God said, uh, uh, as he opens the door, walk through the door, as he opens up heaven before you, over you, that the blessings are going to fall out over you because you've in covenant with him because you honor him with the first with your time talent as well as your treasure because when you honor God you're showing him that you love him that you appreciate him that you can't do anything without him and you make him first when you make him first then his blessings begin to overtake you in the name of Jesus so God I just thank you for these tonight I thank you for for their hearts I thank you God for their cries God even as they have cried out to you and said and God, I don't want to stay in this place. I don't want to stay the same. I want to go deeper. God, I want more. I want you to take me to the next level. And so God said, I've heard you and I've seen you. And God said, I've released a grace <coughs> and an anointing upon your life for your suddenly. God said, you're moving into a place of promise. You're moving into prosperity. You're moving in a, in, into a wealthy place. God said, I've already pre-positioned it. I've already uh, uh, had people there positioned that, it, that it's going to pour into your life. He said, I will call 
cause men to give unto you. I will cause them to bless you. Even those people that may not like you, God said, I will cause them to bless you in this season, in this hour. It, it, and, and even in t times past when you had to, you had to work so hard to try to make it or try to even make ends meet. But God said in this season, it's going to be a place where God said, it's going to be an ease in the glory. When my glory comes, there is an ease in it. And so you don't have to fight as much. You don't have to work as hard, but God said, he's going to give you wisdom so that you can work hard, um, um, smarter and not necessarily harder in this season. So even now, God, I just thank you for strategic plans that you're releasing unto them right now. I thank you right now, God, that you're giving them witty inventions, creative ideas. I thank you right now, God, for, for wisdom, God, for wisdom, wisdom. It is the principal thing, wisdom. So God, we just thank you right now. If they lack wisdom in any area of their life, God, they can ask of you who give it to them liberally, freely, and hold nothing back from them in the name of Jesus. So God, we just, we thank you, Father, for who you are. We thank you for your continued love for all of us. We thank you, glory to your name, God, that you did not leave us alone and you will never leave us nor forsake us. But God, this is the set time in the name of Jesus that you're even taking our thinking to a new level. You're, you're causing our thoughts to go to a new level, to a higher place, even as you were talking about the thousand. And many times we, we were focused on, God, I need 500. I need, you know, 800 or whatever, the hundreds of people you want, you know, to add more people to your ministry or to your business. But God is saying, I'm taking you to a new realm. I'm, I'm causing an exponential growth in your life. I'm taking you into thousands. I'm taking you to thousands times a thousand in the name of Jesus. So God is saying, you've got to come up higher. Your, your, your level of thinking has to come up to a new place. Your, your, how you view things, how you talk has to come up to another place. Amen. God said, you've been confessing some things, but God said in this season, you've got to confess even more. You've got to take it to the next level. You've got to take it to the next step. Amen. Because what you confess, what you decree and declare, God said he will present to you and he will establish in the earth. And so we bless you tonight. We bless you for who you are. We thank you for <coughs> your life. Your life is valuable. You have meaning. You are powerful. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, created in the image of God. God has given you a voice. Hallelujah. He's given you a voice and your voice is distinct. Your voice, God hears your voice. It, it distinguishes from any other voice and God is going to use your voice in the earth. Hallelujah. Throughout the land. Amen. 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 Well, listen, we're going to get with you guys at one. We yes. will be on. And tomorrow night, because we're already in our hotel, we will not miss it. Amen. We will not miss it. We yes. will not miss it. We will not miss yes. it. We love you guys. Thank you. you guys mean so much to us. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes you, you have, have a, voice. a voice. Yes, you call God too, has you? given you a voice. Hallelujah. And your voice is unique. And your voice is distinct. And that's why the enemy has, has silenced you. And it seemed like there were times when you wanted to share different things. You wanted to share your ideas. You wanted to share things. And people didn't accept it. But your voice voice. Don't allow the enemy to silence your voice. Don't allow him to cause you to back up and to recant and say, you know what? Never mind. They probably won't listen anyway. No, you've got to release it because someone in the earth is waiting for what's on the inside of you. Hallelujah. And it can only be released through your voice. That's right. It can only be released through your voice. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I, I know because for years I allowed the enemy to silence my voice. I wouldn't right. talk. I wouldn't, you know, I felt like I was of no Being value. Now, right? Absolutely. <laughs> but I got my voice back. That's I right. got my roar back. You, you know, roar, I, I, I realized and I'm still, God is still revealing who I am. Mm -hmm. He's still, God is still showing me who I am. And the you more I girl. seek him, the more I find myself. You bad. Hey, I tell you, the more you seek God, the more you will find yourself. Hmm. <laughs> I love this man. Yes, I love God. him. <laughs> this girl can preach. You hear me? Yes, you have a voice. Wow, oh my yes, God. As absolutely. a singer, that means yes, sing. Sing a new song unto the Lord. God is wants to give you new songs. You're gonna begin to write, begin to write new songs. Hallelujah. You don't have to just sing somebody else's songs. God is gonna give you uh wisdom to write your own songs, amen. Wow. To sing your own songs, to produce your own songs. Glory to God. I want your CD because it's coming, amen. It's coming. Give birth to it. Glory to God. God, give birth Hallelujah. to it. Sing, sing, sing. I, I don't I, just sing. Sing, sing unto the Lord. Amen. And He receives it. <laughs> but listen, 
We love you guys. Love you. Thank God Thank for you. you. We're getting out of Thank here. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes, that's right. The more you seek him, the more you find your voice. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Love you guys. All right. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.